How does it feel to be here in Corso? I really like this environment because I've never been exposed to it. Hello! Hi people! So I'm in... Where am I? I'm in Amsterdam right now. I just landed in the Amsterdam airport. And this will be my first time going to The Hague. And I can't say that about many places, so I'm very, very excited. It's very interesting for me to come here and see different artists coming together. You can go from room to room and see different things. It's very cultural and it's a beautiful creative environment. There's a lot of energy here. I think it's very important for Corso to nurture talent because uh, you need time to research. You need time to develop your work, to find your artistry, to find new ways of working. And you need time and space for that to do it. And Corso is a place where we can offer that, where we have studio spaces, performance spaces, possibilities of supporting people in production-wise, publicity, artistic guidance. So it's a very good place for it. And I'm very happy that Bavna is now doing the artist in residence with us. Hi. Hi! Welcome to the Netherlands. Oh, thank you. And welcome to Den Haag. Den Haag. This is Corso. How would you describe your journey from when you started dancing to now? So, um, you know, uh, my parents are dancers. So both my father, my mother, and even, so like everybody in the family dances, right? My parents would dance every day. So it was just something that happened at home. Growing up, that's all I saw. So I saw, okay, fine, you wake up in the morning, you eat, and then you go and dance. And you wake up in the morning, you eat, go and dance. That's just how it is, right? So for me, dancing was a lot like, oh, it's like walking. Both dancing and uh, singing started very early for me. Like, it goes hand in hand. When you grow up, you see what happens in your family and you think that's normal. In the spirit of, yeah, whatever you see, you think is normal and that's just how everybody sees it. So I thought everybody in the world was ready. I thought the grass was ready. I thought my surname, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My last name. I thought the dogs were ready. <laughs> so, so the same way, like dancing was just very natural to me. With Bafna, we are creating a, a, a new work uh, uh, based on the Kuchipudi style, uh, which is an Indian classical style that in all the styles in India has always been kind of my favorite. And uh, so it was very special that when we could organize the, the residency with, with Bafna, supported by the E.A. Kilian Foundation, by the way, uh, I was completely uh, happy that uh, I could work with a Kuchipudi dancer and, and especially Kuchipudi dancer with the quality of uh, Bhavna. So when Leo and I started collaborating, part of the process was to get to know each other. It's very personal to me, the meaning of sattva, this purity. It's very personal to me in the sense that we talked about different energies and not being tainted by it, resisting certain energies and finding yourself and standing your ground. And that, to me, is purity. And I think it goes a lot with my character. It is a journey, in fact, the, the, the work is a journey between uh, different phases of life, but even also different phases in, in nature. Like, it has all kinds of references to nature, but also transformation of, of, uh, of a woman developing and coming to herself. Like 
realize where yeah. I was and I didn't realize. You go into it. <laughs> yeah, you go into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was having too much fun. <laughs> and then I had too much fun even going back and then I realized, oh, I have to stop in that spot. You know, keep it big. Don't do it. Circles, of course, limited space, but don't follow with the movement with, with that. So the premiere is tomorrow. We're having um, tomorrow and day after, but tomorrow is the grand premiere of both Ishwariyam, the traditional Kuchipudi repertoire, and Sattva, the contemporary piece. Jatiswaram recites an eternal truth and reveals the dancing postures of God in the dancer's movements. Tom, takita taka tata di tada na tada nu tada mi tom, takita taka tada mi tada ingina to tom, takita taka tata di tada na tada mi takita tom. Bhavana is a beautiful dancer and um, the fact that I dance Kuchpuri myself makes uh, the fact that she's on stage and being a representative of the dance here in the Netherlands very beautiful. It makes you connect with just, not just the dance but everything above. Yeah. Well, I thought it was completely, it was mesmerizing, very beautiful. It was beautiful, it was something new for me and I like to experience these things so yeah, I was, I'm glad to be uh, able to be here. You know, Kuchipuri is also like, almost all Indian dances are temple dances and I think it's beautiful in the sense that you get the explanation if you are not a dancer but if you are a dancer then it speaks to your soul. Well, I thought it was quite interesting that the second part was more western. The music was different. Um, I thought in the first part, which was very fascinating and magic, was also the connection with, uh, with the spiritual, with the, yeah. And that connected to the music and the dance, and it was all one whole, actually. This was one of the first time I've been here in Corso, but uh, I'll definitely come back. If, it, if it's not Indian festival, it might be another festival. I'm open to everything, for sure.